Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I got lots of requests to tell you guys how I did at my craft fair that was this last weekend and I wasn't sure the best way to film the video so I have some of the items that I had at the fair out so I can kind of show you as I'm going through and talk about what were best sellers and what didn't sell as well this year. You know, it was really interesting because some things that normally or in past years have sold really, really, really well didn't didn't do as well this year, and then other things did. So, you know, it's hard to guess, right? So we'll just jump right in and get started. I have a list, I think, of most of the items that I had. I had a few one-offs, like one or one little thing of something. But anyway, we'll go through it. So what I don't have to show you are my lollipop favors, but I did show them to you in the what am I going to have at my craft fair video. I'll make sure that video is linked in the description in case you missed it and you may want to go back and watch. I certainly didn't have everything in that video that I ended up showing. So there'll be some new things to see today. All right. The lollipop favors, I made mine with a Tootsie Roll Pop or a Starburst Pop, shaped the same way around when like the Tootsie Roll. They were super cute. I made way too many. They sold really well. I sold them for a dollar, but all of the extra ones I already took to my shop. I have an in-person shop at the Painted Tree in Glen Allen, Virginia, and I have a new stand that I put them on. And that's not normally something I'd put in that shop, but I'm just thinking with Black Friday and people getting stocking stuffers and things like that, the rest of them might sell. So I'll keep you posted on that, probably just in regular videos. But they were super popular. They brought people into my booth. People loved them. I just think I made too many for the, the crowd that we had. We had a really steady flow all day. There were a few times I was really busy and probably missed a few sales because people were having to wait and it was crowded. But um, yeah, we, we had a lot of folks. So another super popular always item are these tea favors. And I did have some left. And they have a tea bag. And I did the holiday flavors like a gingerbread, a Christmas tea, a peppermint, and a winter spice. And I had a few that was just the regular um, breakfast tea, but same brand. And... These sold really well. They have the little spoon, the little honey packet. Again, I probably just made a few more than I needed, but I was really pleased with these as well. I sold them $3 or two for five. I had one lady, she said that she's, you know, buys these from me every time she sees them. And she bought like $30 worth just so that she could give them as little gifts at work. So another lady said she opens them up and puts a little gift card in and gives them like to her nieces and nephews and grandkids and stuff. So I thought that was a good idea too. So those sold really well. The extras, I'm also going to see how they do at the painted tree. So that's what's going on with those. So let me set that aside. Here's something I did not show you guys. And I had two versions of these. And I've already taken these over to my shop as well. They're beaded bookmarks. You can leave the cute paper on there or you can take it out. I was trying to grab a book or a journal. So for a bookmark, actually the, the single bead goes there. It just goes like this and the beads hang off. It can sit on the edge. The other version was snowman beads so there was like the little top hat and then the face and the three little dots and then the bottom of the snowman they were super cute too I sold them for four dollars I sold a few not a lot they got a lot of attention you know people thought they were cute my son's girlfriend got one <laughs> but I'm gonna see how they do at the tree as well they were really easy to make and I like them so that was the beaded bookmark. And then I showed you guys these. These are um, just super easy punched out gift tags and some vintage papers and then string. Sold quite a few packs of these. Again, just probably made more than I need. But you know what? They'll be all ready for next year. So not a problem. I sold those for $2 and you get 10 gift tags. All right. So I'm going to set those aside. I had a few of these, and I didn't show you guys this in the first video. 
and these are some are on canvas this is on a a, a wood a thin wood um square but they're just little um collages with quotes or sayings and this one I put by my uh where I had my cash box please help me not to be so busy making a living that I forget to make a life and you get the little easel with them and but they were all different and had different quotes and things not a bestseller but again a lot of interest I gave out a lot of cards and I had a lot of people get excited to follow me here on YouTube and on my Instagram. So hopefully that'll come to fruition. But I think people like seeing more of my style outside of just the holiday things. So that was nice. So I'm glad I took them and I think it gave my, it gave my booth a little bit different look than some of the others, which I liked. So there we go. And then I had just some different baskets with some super simple gift tags to people dress up their their packages or to send as a card or to use as journaling cards, right? Like we do in the junk journal world. These sold well, they were a dollar. People, like I guess I had multiple baskets of them and that's what's left and they, they liked them and they dug through them and so that was kind of fun. My very first sale, in fact, was the night we set up and one of them said, baby, it's cold outside. This is so cute, the lady that bought it, she's, her daughter's having, I think her first grandchild due in February. And she said, and that's their theme for the shower, baby, it's cold outside. So I thought, oh, so she, she bought that and she was really excited. So cuteness. Okay. Now these, I didn't show you, I don't believe last time in the, one of my selling at my craft fair video. These are just little mini clipboards. They're made with a coaster, a chipboard coaster that you can alter. I stamped my silver and sparkles on the back, covered the binder clip with some cute paper and decorated them. Some of them have the snowflakes. <laughs> some I put little, you know, cute little tags and papers. I sold a few. In years past, this has been a bestseller. So didn't sell very many. They were $2 and you can put a magnet on them, you know, and put it on the refrigerator you can have it at work you can hook it here with a like on a thumbtack i'm not quite sure why they didn't do as well this year but i sold a couple so it was okay i'm glad i took them i had and if you watched the video when i did the walkthrough so again there's two videos there's what am i going to sell in my craft show video for 2024 I don't remember the exact title, but like I said, I'll link it. And then I just did like a three minute, very quick, the night we set up walkthrough. And I had quite a few of these. These are just two by fours, cut, painted white, and then with a Cricut, some black vinyl. And I had um, Oh Holy Night, and Grace, and Peace, and Hope. Was selling them for $4. They made the booth look really festive, I think, and cute. They did not sell. So... I don't know if it was the price point or people were just looking for other things. And by the way, guys, I had a great sale. So it's just there were, I had a lot of things that did not sell. So that's interesting. All right, Christmas cards. I had baskets of Christmas cards of different kinds. I don't know if I've shown you all these. So these, a lot of these were made with really the high end, like Cartabella scrapbook paper that I layered and made, you know, and they're really nice envelopes. And I sold quite a few of these for $5 a piece. Again, I think I probably just overmade. I may put these in plastic and take them to my shop at the painted tree and see how they do. I sold quite a few cards there. And then I had this kind, sold several of these where I layered the craft envelope, the flap. So just different ones. I always like to have cards. People love to sit and look through my cards. And I had, oh, here's some more gift tags that I made with that Stamperia paper. So anyway, fun. And, and those sold well. So, oh, a lot of people want to know how the stars and the star wreaths did. So I have a video showing you guys how to make these. And this is the one that I, no, it's not the card. It's just um, an ornament one or to decorate a package with. So 
I had quite a few of these hanging on a cute little stand. You can see that. And then I had the big ones, the big wreaths. And I think I didn't put them in the right place in my booth because they didn't sell. Um, so not quite sure. Again, they're, I, people, a few people looked at them, but they really didn't even get much attention, which is unusual. In years past, I've had different versions of this and different styles of stars that were paper folded that sold really, really well. So that's okay though, because the big ones are at my shop and I'm going to sell them for $15 and they, they just went in last night right before closing. So I'll let you guys know if any of them sell. So my Mary Trees, oh gosh, something stuck back here. I, this is, these are made from one of my paper kits. It's called, um, I think it's just Mary, Mary Christmas Trees. And I've done a video on making these. So go watch that if you're, if you're interested or go to Etsy, please. And look at, at the paper kit. People loved these and they sold well. I just made a whole bunch because I'm also doing a Christmas make and take locally. There'll be all kinds of projects and this is going to be the one we're going to make. So I definitely knew I wanted to have samples to take with me. And I'm also sending a set of these that I've made as my part of the giveaway in the Rachel Bella collaboration. So this is what I'm going to be donating as a set of these. I've got to decide what a set is, but at least three. And ornaments on trees. Just you could make a little. One lady got quite a few, and she's going to make a. Um, oh my gosh, Pam. Uh, what is the word that I want? Where you hang it on the string, like a banner, or uh, I'll think of the word here in a second. But anyway, she's going to hang multiples on a string in front of her mantle because she loves the little angels and the stars and the trees. And she liked the colors, the pinks and the greens. So I thought that was super fun. But again, you can, if you're interested, that paper kit, is, of course, is available on Etsy. So how cute is that? And one lady was so excited when I told her it was, you know, my paper and went onto my Etsy shop right there and bought the kit. So that was exciting. So those were, were, were really good. I have more, I have more to show you guys. Let me pull some more little baskets over. So again, I don't think I showed you guys these in the uh, what I'm going to sell, but these are just altered traveler's notebooks where I've just covered them and made them super cute. These always sell well, and I sold them for five dollars. Have a few left, and then this one was a different size with a turkey. No one bought the cute turkey, but I love it, so maybe I'll use it. These are great to throw in your bag or your purse, depending on if you have a big enough purse. I know we have phones and stuff, but you know, for lists and things. So when people talk to me, I was able to kind of give them ideas of how to use things and that always helps sales. I did some jumbo tags for Christmas. A few of them sold, a few of them didn't, but again, I only had like a couple. So I don't know where that came from. Okay, so I took some of my folios, my tag folios. I took a bunch this size and I took like four this size, and this is what I have left. People really liked these. So this is the one, again, I've done videos showing you guys how to make these. So go back if you wanna see the videos on my YouTube and you'll be able to find them. And this was a one page wonder. And it's all the little mini tags. So people bought them then to use these as little gift tags and then to put like a gift card or something in for someone that you can stack gift cards in these pockets. So I was able to sell quite a few by, you know, just telling people ideas of how they could use them or kind of what I thought the intent was. So that was fun. And then the big one, same thing. This is the one that goes this way, that opens like this, right? And then has all the tags and things in. And again, popular. And I had them near where my cash box was so that when people were looking at them, I could say, oh, here, let me untie that for you and show you how it works and was able to sell quite a few that way. So that was exciting. And again, these types of things sold better this year than they have in, in past years. So 
I was excited about that. All right, set those aside. Mini journals. So I had quite a few that I've made using really pretty, this is graphic 45 paper. This is one of the birds. I have quite a few using their fairy paper. And I sold a few, not a lot. Again, in past years, the mini journals have sold better than they did this year, but that's okay. Again, I can have them for other events that I do throughout the year or bring them out next year. I'm not worried. Uh, and then I also did this kind where you just get, these are really just, I I see these as just like, almost like just little mini art scrapbook kind of things. I call them two little mini junk journals. And I sold a few, they're just stapled together. But I had one, which then I ended up giving to a lady, but that I had all decked out with pockets and it got chunky and was super cute to just show people possibilities of how to use them. And so that helps, but I've got quite a few of those still ready to go. So those were $3. And then I, again, I had baskets of gift tags. You guys have seen me make some of these on some different videos here recently. Since this one was a little bit smaller, I put some like this mixed in. These sold really well, the little postcards. These are made with some papers by Sylvia at Los Mimis Amores. And um, I have the kits favorited. If you go through my link that's in the description to my favorites on Etsy, you can find some of these different paper kits too if that helps you. So anyway, had fun with those. And again, I just had bunches, if you look at the video of baskets sitting around with different gift tags. This basket, they were a dollar. I had some that were pretty basic that were three for a dollar. So people got to look through those. And then I didn't have any of these made when I told you guys that I was going to have hot cocoa favors. So this one's got little gnomes and I did some in the blue. And what I would say is like this style, this one sold really well, like with the Santa. It just kind of depended, I had Grinch ones and they sold really well. So again, I probably just made more than I needed, but it's just a Swiss Miss hot cocoa packet. It's made with a envelope, so you can do white, red, green, whatever envelope you want, and then a little paper straw, and they were a dollar. And like, I had a lot of grandmas and um, like people that had like great grandchildren, great nieces, nephews, got these as little stocking stuffers or then to put a gift card in. And so it just looked a little dressed up. And so, yeah, the hot cocoa gifts are always fun and do well. Let me look at my list here. What did I forget? Oh, the Hershey Nugget Favors. So I had some of those to show you in that other video. They're always a sellout, bestseller. So absolutely, those are great. Oh, okay. So I had some, let me set these so there's something to look at at least while I'm talking. There were some teapots that I have that are like a little individual teapot and then it sits on top of the mug and has the little lid. And then I did a tea favor attached to it. That's like a little booklet tea favor. And I sold out of those. I only made like five and I sold them for 15 and I sold out of those. So those were great. I did some candy favors in the little cellophane bags with mixed like Hershey Kisses and um, other like hot, like the, the puffy peppermints, just different holiday candies. And I did a large one and a, a smaller one and sold out of those. Those were super popular with the cute little toppers. Um, pencil favors. I don't have any to show you, but I had the cute holiday pencils and packaged them. I'll try to show you guys one just in a random video if I remember. They did not sell. They were super cute. People looked at them. I've taken them to my shop over at the painted tree. I'll let you know how they do there. Hopefully they'll do well there. There Again, there was a lot to look at in my booth. Uh, I had those fall gifts with the little gnomes because it's right before Thanksgiving and I thought somebody might need like a housewarming gift or something to take at Thanksgiving. And those did not sell. They were very cute. Like they had like a pot holder that said Hello Pumpkin and it had a cute little uh, wooden spoon with a holiday saying on it and a little gnome and a cookie mix. Anyway, I thought they were precious. 
I think it was maybe just too close to Thanksgiving and people were looking at Christmas. Those have sold really well for me, though, in my shop, so that's okay. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. I think I just talked about random Christmas cards. Um, oh, gosh. Let me grab. I have some mantle cards. Hold on. I'm coming. Coming right back. I haven't shown you guys these this year, I don't think, but I had some of my mantle cards. And so these tie on the side, they were tied and untied a bunch at the show. And I sold these for $10. And again, some years they sell better than others. I sold a few, but not many. Um, they're very time intensive to make. Watch, cute, right? <laughs> um, they're, I watched a tutorial, and if I can find it, I will link it in the description that teaches you how to do these. And to be honest, I did not make these this year. I made these last year, and I had overmade, so I had way more than I needed. So I don't really even remember how to make them at this point. But this is not my design or my idea. I just replicated it. But they're very substantial, and they feel really good when you open them up, and they close right back up. And then the reason I call them mantle cards is then it's like a decoration for you to have. So I hope I didn't get, just make you guys nauseous uh, watching me fold and unfold that. But those were good. All right. My big sellers. I kind of saved them for the end. I think I got through everything else. My little golden book Christmas journals. I took Frosty. I took Rudolph. I took a Twas the Night Before Christmas. They all sold. Yay! And I did not mark them down. I sold them for what I, well, on Etsy, I sell them for 60 and they come with free shipping. And I sold these at my craft fair for 50 because I didn't have to do any packaging or shipping. And guys, those cost over $10 to ship. So, um, I was really excited about that. And then I also made an additional advent journal and I have a whole series on the advent journal this year that I made. Uh, and I used the paper by Joey Cardmaker and go back and watch that series. If you want to make an advent journal and the extra, the, I, I made it a second one. The other one I'm giving as a gift and it sold. So that was another large journal and a few other, my other like bigger journals that I took sold. So that was kind of the surprise this year. Um, I sold over $300 just in the, the bigger journals. So that was really exciting. And overall, the, the craft fair just went great and I couldn't have been more pleased. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope that you'll go back, watch some of my other videos, the tutorials on how to make all of these. I shared before Amber at Lyric Lovers Crafts has so many tutorials on great favors and things for craft fairs. My tea favors, my hot cocos, um trying to think of what else but anyway she has great tutorials on how to do those so I'm not going to redo those those are her ideas that she shares with all of us and um, I was able to use and benefit from so please give the video a thumbs up please leave me a comment tell me what you liked um, what you would have gotten if you had come to my craft fair I'd love to know and I also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider doing so I'd appreciate it guys happy happy holidays Merry Christmas and until next time, have a great one.